According to a municipal politician here in the city of Toronto, the era of the automobile is over. He wants to tear down all the expressways, tear down all the roads, everybody take the subway and the bus to work. Well, I got a little something for you, sir. The busiest highway in the world isn't in Beijing, it isn't in Moscow, it isn't even in Los Angeles. It's in Toronto. According to the Telegraph newspaper of London, England, the 401 across the top of the city is the busiest highway in the world. Now, there are times of day where there's a spot on that highway where there's seven lanes of traffic in each direction, and they're all stopped. Now, if I was a REMAX agent, I'd set up an office in the median strip and say, hey, man, if you guys just trade houses with those guys, we'd all be home by now. The point is, the era of the automobile is not over. You cannot build enough rapid transit, enough streetcars, enough bus lanes, enough subways to handle the number of people that want to get someplace. And that doesn't even consider how every piece of furniture, every scrap of food, everything you bought at any store, it got to that store in a truck on the highways. The era of the automobile is long, long, long way from being over. Now, what are we supposed to do about this? Well, there's the one answer I don't actually have. The reason cities are so crowded is that they've become so livable. Now, Vancouver and Toronto particularly seem to be addressing that by making real estate so expensive nobody can afford to live here anymore. But the point is, if you hide your eyes as a politician and say the era of the automobile is over, you're just fooling yourself. There's hundreds of thousands of people on that road every day trying to get somewhere and pretending that the problem doesn't exist. Well, that's the old ostrich technique. Stick your head in the sand, maybe the problem will go away. Guess what? It's not going away. I'm Jim Kenzie.